who is Olivia Meek Phillips? That's what everyone is dying to know. The Brick City bred vixen has many caught on a whim. Trying to figure out if she's the suburban wife to be or the spitting image of her father, the notorious Prophet Phillips? Little do they know, they'll soon find out enough. After the ultimate betrayal, the wrath of a queen pin is unleashed. When secrets surface about the man she thought she'd be spending the rest of her life with, she is out for blood. She seeks out the help of the queer white, also known to the streets as Zeus. True to his name, the queer treats Olivia like the goddess she is and exposes her to things she has never had with her fiance. Houston Donato Thomas is sitting on top of the world and on a throne that once belonged to the legendary Prophet Phillips. Being groomed by the infamous Kingpin, he felt it was only right that he stepped up in his place. Now that he's made it to the big leagues, he'll stop at nothing to maintain his position. But with his new thirst for power, will he be too oblivious to see what's taking place right underneath his nose? Witness as the ultimate scheme leaves the city in an uproar and brings one of these high rollers to their knees. Hello, my beautiful people. We are here for episode 101 of the Bibliophiles bookcase, and I am your lovely host, Erica the Bibliophile. So, I have been off for a few weeks because what one week was thanksgiving the other one i got a cold just a cold not covid your girl is clean out here um so and i've recorded a few episodes in the past where i was sick but it just like all you hear is that nasty phlegm you know like i'm clearing my throat every few seconds or i'm like sniffing and it's like who wants to hear that that's not a good thing to hear so i just said i'm gonna take a break until i sound like my normal self and then we'll pick up from there so here i am hello my beautiful people all right let's get into it so today's book is ain't no love oh sorry ain't no love for a hitter by deja shine now i was introduced to this book to this author when um and i got this from tiktok actually they had a sale like a black author's appreciation post where it was just a list of authors and they were selling their books for free like it was a sale basically and you could download as many books as you wanted from amazon from these authors i forgot i posted about it on my youtube I made like a video dedicated to it showing like the post and all that type of stuff so if you're familiar with my youtube erica the bibliophile i post about it on there so this is where i got this book from and i loved this book because i equated this book to if you are familiar with the rapper common because a lot of people like common who the hell is that he's also an actor you know he's done a couple movies but anyway his song testify that stars taraji p henson in the video that is what this book is so if you've ever heard the song or seen the video just imagine that in book form and let's jump right into it so we are introduced to olivia who is the daughter of no she's sorry i'm so sorry we're introduced to olivia who is talking to a detective hudson and anytime i see my last name because my last name is hudson so i just always just stop and like oh look at my name but she's talking to a detective hudson who is talking to her about her husband like you know your husband is being charged with this crime and she's like no my husband would never you know he's a good guy 
you know, just basically going to bat for her husband. And she's calling him by his name, like Hudson. I mean, not Hudson, sorry. Houston. Her boyfriend's name is Houston. Houston would never do anything like that. So Detective is, Detective Hudson is like, don't you mean De Niro? You know, like that's his street name. His street name is De Niro. And she's like, no, I call him Houston. I don't know nothing of what you're talking about. His name is Houston. And so Detective Hudson knows Olivia. She, I mean, he knows her father. It's like he's paying very close attention to the family and he tells her you know we found De Niro with the drugs and the murder weapon at a home owned by a Mariah Ortega and he's like you know does that name mean anything to you and she's like no should it and he tells her you know your but he keeps calling her her boyfriend, but really he's like her fiance. They're not technically married, but I just call her husband because I mean, call him husband. Lord, let me get my words together. You know, it's just how we do. Like, that's my husband. Whoop de whoop. So she leaves from talking to the detective and she's talking to Zeus. Zeus, he's a family friend. Like, he's been a part of the quote unquote family for a while now she's known him always known him so her father which his name is prophet he was like the kingpin he got knocked so when he got knocked De Niro took over for him because he was kind of like his secondhand man so it's like okay you're gonna take my place in the business and you're gonna marry my daughter so it's it's all good but then it's like soon after De Niro got knocked. But then we're going back to two months earlier. So while she in Houston, you know, like they're in their lovey-dovey phase, she gets a call from Prophet. And her dad says, you know, are you alone? Like, I need you to act normal on the phone and don't give off any clues that anything is wrong. And so she's like, okay. He says, is De Niro home? She's like, yes. And then she goes to ask, is there, and he's like, Olivia, like, girl, what the fuck did I just tell you? Give me short answers, yes or no, and just listen. So then he asks, is he around at the moment? So she says, no. And then the only thing Prophet says is, he's the one, Olivia. And so at first she's confused. And then Prophet says, I've always been a careful man. When have you known me to make a mistake? And so she's like, she's quiet trying to put it together, like what he's trying to say. And then it like, it clicks for her. And she's like, no, he would never. Why would he do that? And it's like, what do you mean? Why would he do that? If he's not the head nigga in charge, why would he not knock off the head nigga in charge and just take his place and, you know, play the thing of, oh, I'm stepping up for this family. This is our family. Like, come on now. And so this takes her for a loop because it's just like, how am I supposed to act like I still love this nigga and still want to be with him and act like I don't know anything. So then she goes to Zeus and her and Zeus, like they got a thing. They've been feeling each other, but it's never really been like too much of anything because she's been with Houston. So she tells him what's going on and they concoct this plan to set him up. And so throughout the whole story, is basically just getting De Niro back for what he did to her father. And so she manages to, like, he doing side deals, buying drugs, and he bought drugs off of this kid who is a cop son. So they just knew they were going to get away with it, whatever. So <clears throat> it's like, as soon as he bought the drugs, um, he thought the kid was coming back, but it was actually 
a part of the family who came and killed the the um the cop son and whoever he had with him like they died so that was the setup for De Niro like he stole the drugs and he killed them that's how they got him set up so it's like then when he goes to jail of course Olivia is playing her part like he would never he would never do anything like that now in all this time she also knew about Mariah like her and Mariah were setting him up as well so Detective Hudson, like, he gets the recording somehow of a conversation between Olivia and Mariah. And he thought, oh, um, not Olivia, sorry. He thought Mariah was dead because from the video, like, not the video, the tape recording, it sounded as if Olivia was threatening Mariah and it's like, I can make you disappear, whoop do whoop whatever. And so if anything, quote unquote, ever happened to her, this um, recording was evidence for that and so of course ain't nobody heard from mariah so detective hudson like this nigga is rock hard just thinking like i got him i finally got the whole fucking family you know what i mean but mariah walks through the door like um what are you talking about like i'm not dead i'm right here yet alive like that recording was just a misunderstanding. So when De Niro goes to jail, he realized, cause just like in the music video, when Tarot, like, uh, what was that man's name? Woody Harrison, Woody Harrison was her husband. Like when he's convicted and found guilty, it seems as if she's crying cause her head is down, but then she lifts her head up and she's laughing and she walks out. And that's exactly what Olivia did. Like finally got that nigga he going to jail with you whatever and he acts a fool as they're carrying him out of court and it's like you know we finally did what what we set out to do and her and zeus can live there happily ever after like this is a very short read but it's also a good read so i encourage you to go read it for yourself and show the author some love because it was a good book i was really happy with it um, but yeah, that's all I got. This is a very short episode just to get my feet wet after being gone for two weeks and really not recording for like a couple months. Cause it's a, let me just tell my own thing. It's a book podcast. So it's like, I can literally talk about a book whenever I want to. So before I started, cause I'm going back to school, so for the last three months while I was in school, all those episodes, those were pre-recorded episodes, like trying to be ahead. Cause like I'm in school, I'm not going to have time to record so I can have those set for me. And then when I'm done, I can pick back up on it. And that's exactly what I did. Like, this is the last, what is this? Today is December 8th. It's the last week of school. Technically, tomorrow is the last day of class. So I'm done with this semester. And I believe January 9th is where I pick up for the next semester. So I'm going to try to kick out as many episodes as I can. And, you know, if you guys are rocking with me, you're rocking with me. So thank you for listening to this episode. And I hope to see you back next episode. Because I'm not even going to say next week because because I like like the last two weeks, I might just put out another episode very soon. So peace and blessings, my beautiful people. Thank you for listening.